Hello guys and welcome to this week's video. This week's video is going to be about my personal favorite social media app, Instagram. I love Instagram, I love posting photos. I know I've been like slacking and not really up to date and not really really posting a lot lately but I really want to try to get into it or like back into it with the summer coming up so I thought I'm going to share with you my editing technique all the time, how I edit my Instagrams. I'm also going to share a few of my tips and like tricks you could say on Instagram. If you do want to follow me on my Instagram maybe or anything else like Twitter, Snapchat, you can always do that if you want to. And if you want to see more video wise, then you can go over to my vlog channel which you can subscribe over here and yeah just subscribe there i'm definitely gonna be posting more in the future and i'm really excited for that and lastly if you like this type of video give it a thumbs up or if you want to see more subscribe it's always free you can join the wallflower family and yeah wallflower family is not a thing with this said, let's get started with the video. Like, first of all, my theme is kind of white, gray, black with a splash of color and that's kind of my theme for a long time now because that's just what I like and I think you should make your theme about what you like and not just be like hey this youtuber or my favorite star is doing this and this theme I'm gonna do it now because it's like I tried it and it's like so hard to keep up a theme with like things you don't even like just because you want to copy someone else so my first tip is just be yourself like in every situation and yeah post pictures of things that you like and then other people that like the same stuff will come to you and follow you and you maybe be friends because you like the same stuff so if you just copy someone you take a picture of something that you actually don't even like and people start like talking to you about and you just have to say I don't even like it like that doesn't make sense so first of all be yourself I also think you don't need like the exact same color in every picture so if pictures are different and pictures have different colors that's also totally fine honestly do what you want I just share my own things next tip would be to have good quality pictures like no one wants to see a pixely picture nowadays so just make sure that the things that you want to have in focus are actually in focus and have good lighting I just the one tip that I can give you for that is use natural lighting like I take all my pictures outside or like most of my pictures and if I don't take them outside I take them like on my bed where it's getting straight lighting from my window so it's always always natural lighting for me for cameras I mostly use my iPhone to take thing to take pictures of things or like actually selfies or stuff like that I use my iPhone and if I want to have nicer outfit pictures I definitely use my DSLR or my G7X depends on what camera I have with me right now and also my best friend is taking that picture for me mostly but I also still do like mirror outfit of the day selfies like we all still do them like let's be honest here with us we all still do them yeah those are like the cameras like I don't think you need a DSLR or like a point and shoot for your Instagram you can definitely use your iPhone but if you want to have that good, good, good looking theme with a DSLR, then go for it. First of all, just so you can see, that's kind of my theme lately. 
like I said, black, white, not too too colorful, more like faded-ish. And with that splash of color in kind of every picture. I added everything with VSEO cam. So let's just insert a selfie I took actually two minutes ago. Not even kidding. Then I go into editing and firstly I use the filter HB2. I honestly love that filter. I bump it down around to like eight-ish. But honestly that depends definitely on the picture. And then I go into editing. Firstly, I'm gonna go a little bit to contrast and pull it like one down. I don't do crazy things. I do like one, two, three, not more at all. Honestly, what I just mostly do is play around, but to show you guys, next I go into fade and pull it up around two or three, but mostly two. Then we go into saturation and pull it down about one yeah and lastly I am going to sharpen the picture about three I think and that is basically it like that is basically it for a selfie actually what I always do first which I don't know why I forgot this but I go to Facetune and I whiten my background and I'm going to do that now on the edited picture but that's just it and I save it like I said I never do anything really crazy to my pictures but I like to do I like to give them a little bit of a filter a little bit of a fade and sharpen them a little bit so they just look nicer but honestly that's everything i do put hbo over it a little bit of sharpen it a little bit of fade a little bit down the saturation and i'm good and before i do it in vseo cam i whiten the pack background because my backgrounds are mostly white or gray so that's just dash dash <laughs> That's just kind of my theme. Definitely leave me your Instagram handle down below so I can check your theme out if you have one. If you don't have a theme, still leave your Instagram down below. I want to check it out. And yeah, that was my video. I really, really hope you liked it. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, which you can do over here. Or watch my last video, it was a outfit of the week, so you can do that over there. And I would say we're gonna see us next Wednesday on our Waffle Team Wednesday. I hope you have an amazing day and amazing week. Bye!